Hey there, crafty friends. It's Hannah at the Doodle Bug, and welcome to our What's New at the Doodle Bug Live. So today I have two baskets full of really fun stuff for you guys. Um, what we're going to be looking at today, I've got some 49 and Market in here. I've got some Tim Holtz Ranger in here. I've got some super cute Crafter's Companion new dies. I think you guys are going to love, love, love. I hope you do anyway. Um, lots of great restocks. And then, like I said, I've got a little bit of a teaser of Doodlebug Design. So you can see some stuff that's going to be coming in tomorrow. So I'm going to flip the camera around. Here we go. I'm going to put you in my mount here. Thought it might be a little easier this way. Maybe that was a bad idea. We will see. Okay. All right. So hopefully everybody can hear me. All right. I know I've got a little bit of a glare um, where I put my mat back here is right underneath that light. Um, I brought a thinking it might help. I brought my umbrella back, but unless I hold it, I can't get my umbrella to stay in here. And yes, I probably just gave myself what seven years bad luck. Um, but you know, that's kind of par for the course, I think. So <laughs> but I did open my umbrella up to try and get it to filter some of that light out, but it's just, it ain't happening. I'm going to set it over here and just see, maybe we can get a little bit of less glare and eh, that's a little bit less. All right. So let's check out what is new in my, nope, there my, and then your umbrella falls. What is that on the scale of bad luck stuff when your, your umbrella inside falls? All right. So back in stock. We've got some of the photo flips from um, Simple Stories. These are the four by sixes and then also the variety pack. And I've got myself in such a weird little spot here. I can't even stand. Oh, Hannah Marie. Make myself crazy sometimes. So anyway, we've got our four by six photo flips in here. And then this one here is the variety pack. So if you haven't used them before, I, I think that, um, oh man, and the way I've got my camera turned, I can't see comments as good either. Oh, I know some of you love this horizontal angle because when I post videos, some of you comment, oh, flip your camera the other way. And, but then I can't see comments as well. So shoot, I don't like that part. I got to remember that. So anyway. All right, so we've got four by six ones here and then also your variety pack here that has four by six, four by four, and three by four. If you haven't used these before, probably a variety pack would be a great way to start to see what sizes you like, variety pack or four by sixes, because that's gonna be your most common photo size that you're gonna be printing. These have a little sticky strip at the top. You get 12 in a pack, okay? They've got a little sticky strip at the top. You can put them directly onto your page. They're really fun for mini books as well to add a fun little flip in your mini book. There's your sticky strip, so you can attach it down. If you're doing like one of the snap binders, you can even attach this right onto the page protector, which is super fun too. And I'm thinking, hold on, I'm gonna check. I'm walking away. I don't know if you guys can hear me yet. But the other day, Sean did this super cute little book for the store. And remember, I showed it to you. I know it used photo flips. Ha ha, here we go. So here's a photo flip right here. So see how you can put something fun here, picture here, and another picture here. I use photo flips a lot whenever, maybe my pictures aren't the best quality, but I still want the picture to be in there. Or I think I don't look good in the picture but everybody else looks really good and that's the only picture I got. So maybe I just kind of hide it a little bit. So it's still there, um, but you you know, you know don't see me with, you know, looking a weird angle and double chins or something to, you know, that extreme. But here's another photo flip there. And then I think, oh, that's probably the one I was thinking of. I know one of the back pages had one um, and there's another little one right there. So that kind of gives you a little idea. And this is directly on the page here. Um, what's the other one? That one's directly on the page. But if you're doing an album like this, you could also attach it directly to the page protector and have it flip that way. So that's a little bit about what a photo flip is in case you haven't used those before. Um, it's one of those neat little things that um, whenever we do our retreats, it's often one of the challenges 
on the challenge sheets just to get people to try something new, check out a new product. Um, and then I have a lot, because you've never seen it before. So I have a lot of people that then love these little guys. So restocked on those. Uh, what's next? Oh, just some eight and a half by 11 black paper from Photo Play. Okay, this is going to make me crazy. I'm going to have to move you guys. I'm going to move you real quick. Moving myself. I'm in this weird, I tried to scoot myself over and I put myself on the crack, which means my glass mat is moving back and forth, which I can't handle that. Move you guys over. Okay, there you go. Get you settled back in. I know we've got that glare. I need like a, like a professional studio, you know? That's what I need, a filming studio. Maybe when I grow up one day and become a big, big online star, I'll hold it here. So you can kind of see me. I'm standing here like Mary Poppins now, just like Mary Poppins. All right. So black cardstock back in stock for on the shelf. This is not going to work, but that's okay. Then we got our plus tape runners back in. Now, what makes these so great and fun? Remember, these are the ones that are super, super skinny. We are talking like, what are they, 3 sixteenths of an inch. So it's a super skinny little tape runner, which is going to be perfect for those smaller die cuts. We love them for our photo dies that we got in. That way you can quick and easy um, glue the, uh, the frames, the mats down. So just a fun little tape runner. Again, not the tape runner you're going to use for everything um, because it's only um, 3 sixteenths of an inch, but definitely one that you're going to like to have in your stash. So we got those back in stock. Let's see what else is in my fun basket here. This one here is the Gatefold Flip Book in black. So this is one that um, I know I've seen so many people on the 49 and Market Fans page using this one to make little mini books. And I also think that this one got used in our Air Christmas Spectacular as one of the actual projects. They use this as their base. So those are back in stock. Sketchbooks. We are not a huge art store by any means, but I do try to keep in some basic sketch pens, um, charcoal pencils, and then also sketch pads. So we got back in just a Strathmore sketch pad. It's got a nice smooth surface on it. It's a great little economical one too because you're getting a hundred sheets in here. Oh, this one didn't get priced yet. Shoot, I'm thinking it's less than 10 bucks. I know Leslie just got these checked in so I think she just brought them straight back for me. All right, let's look at a restock here. I believe one of these is already spoken for. But these are those super cute little treat boxes. Um, Santas are, oh, actually we got a Santa in. Santas are back ordered. Um, I think I got the last Santa. And again, this one may be spoken for two friends. But check them out. Get on the restock list. So what is so super cool about these? Well, first of all, they're adorable. If you had to ask what's so super cool about them. But wait till I flip them over. So they do make the funnest little treat boxes. When we posted these the other day, just on the page as a, hey, look what we got back in, Leslie found the most adorable card where they stacked three of these pumpkins on top of each other. So didn't even use it as a treat. And I know when we first debuted these in one of the lives, someone even commented how fun these would be as cards, not even just as treat boxes. And that's so, so true. But the other thing that is super cool, you get all three of these in one. I did not know that when I ordered them. Otherwise, friends, we would have ordered a lot deeper and we wouldn't have been running out as quick because the warehouse couldn't keep up with them. But you can make this super fun little spider in here, but then think you're creative. Take off those legs. You've got a little monster face as well, too. Then you've got this super fun little pumpkin here. And I even wonder, can we turn that into a turkey? Because those leaves back there look like tail feathers to me. So that might even be able to be a turkey. And then the little kitty cat there as well. How cute is that? Seriously. So, so fun. Um, it's 30 bucks. 
So you get all three of those shapes for 30 bucks. This one here, this is the Christmas one. This one is going to do a snowman, Santa, and then an elf. And again, how cute would that Santa be just as a card as well? So fun. Again, remember, I know we do have a wait list for these, um, and I'm thinking this Santa here is spoken for. But if you are wanting on the list for the Santas, please comment. That way we can get the next one held for you. Another back in stock item, this is from Prima. This goes with their molds. This is, it's a two part, so you mix them together um, and then it's gonna naturally self harden. Um, and you can kind of speed it up a little bit, but usually I just let it air dry. That's what it's supposed to be for, but you don't have to bake it or anything like that. Um, before drying, can withstand highest temperatures of 150 degrees. After drying, can withstand the highest temperature of 350 degrees. So this is a really good air dry material, okay? And it will, once you do your two parts, mix them together, and then you're gonna push them into your little molds. And then as it hardens, it's going to turn, there we go, it's gonna turn white. And then it says in here, depending on the thickness of the material, may take up to 24 hours to dry. Now, I've even taken some out when they're still not quite dry. It does make them a little bit easier, I think, to pop out of the molds. Um, but I don't always start to paint it and things like that until they are dry. But super, super cool. So that we ran out of. So that is a back in stock item. Brand new, just starting to ship. Yay. Tim Holtz Distress Crayons are finally, finally here. Um, I, thought, I know we have more than this order, but that may be all that made it out of the warehouse so far. So this one here is set number five. So Halloween set number five. I think we had a couple of you on pre-orders for these as well. But those are finally here in the store. Making sure I'm staying in, in camera there. All right, next up, we had someone who is starting their Distress Ink Stash. And friends, you know how that goes. So we've got a bunch of inks that she special ordered. And so we've got a lot of ink colors that we haven't had in the in, in a while for Distress going out on to the shelves. And let's see, that's the same one. And we've got another order with even more coming as well. So she picked lots and lots of great, great colors. So what do we got here? We've got Wilted Violet, Barn Door, Worn Lipstick, Squeeze Lemonade. I love Pumice Stone. Brushed Corduroy, it's one of my favorite browns to use, and Broken China. Gosh, you know, Broken China is an oldie but a goodie. I think that like Antique Linen, um, Vintage Photo, and then Broken China. I, I know for a lot of us back in the day, those were like our, and then Peeled Paint, those were like our first colors, uh, some of the first colors out there, but those are like the first ones that we added to our Distress Ink stash. Um, so we've got those hitting the shelves. Like I said, I know some of those are, one of each is special ordered, but we've got other ones heading to the shelf. Another thing from Ranger and Mr. Tim Holtz, just back in stock, his little palette knife set. So you've got two different little palette knives in here, a longer one and then a shorter one, which is little, little plastic ones. They're not metal, but because they're plastic, they're three bucks. So super, super economical there. That way, if you do forget to clean it, you don't feel quite as guilty whenever you've got to pitch a spatula that costs $1.50 um, as opposed to a spatula that maybe costs like 8 or $9 if it was, um, was a good metal one. Up next, um, we've got some Nuvo stuff in here as well that just hit the shelves again. So we got back in stock the small, or sorry, this is the medium the medium flat tip glue pin. So that is back in stock. You can see it's got a little chisel tip in there. And then this here is aqua shimmer. Now this one is not the silver, this one's the gold. Silver is coming, but it is on back order. But this, what it's gonna do, okay, we're gonna lose this. 
I don't have one of these open, I don't think, anymore. But what you're going to do whenever you get this, you want to, um, yes, one was ordered for you, Miss Debbie. I'm having a hard time seeing my comments on here, just so you guys know. But I'm I'm trying it because it's just a I'm coming up here like you can actually see it's just this little bit of area because my screen's so much smaller since I turned it the other way today. Um, so once you get this, you're gonna take that little safety seal out, screw them together, okay, and then it's going to pop that little seal right there, which I don't want to pop right now because that would ruin the fun for somebody else, right? And then I don't know if I can open this without it being all the way together. Let me see if I can. I don't think I can. What is in here is there is a little brush. And of course, since I'm not, I don't have the torque of the other one, I can't get it open. Nope. So there's a brush in here. Let me try the other one. See if it's going to play a little nicer for me. No. They gotta be plunged together. That way you have enough oomph to pop that little cap off. In here is a little, like a little aqua brush. So you've got a little brush tip in there. And what is gonna flow down is a really light glitter shimmer. And this one, because it's Midas, it is going to be a gold shimmer. I don't know if I can bring that in close enough. Nope, you can't tell. In here, it's got a slight little shimmer. So what you do with this is, I mean, you can paint with it. Now, what is really cool though, friends, you can actually, um, like your watercolor palettes and stuff, you can use this even as your paintbrush. How cool is that? Seriously, because you can pick up and, and pull your shimmer with it. So if you've got one of these, think about doing that. Or your um, watercolor pencils, when you go to blend them, use this. It makes such a beautiful, beautiful look to it. Um, but it's just going to give you a real, real faint little gold shimmer. So that is Aqua Shimmer in the Midas Touch. Sticking that back in so it doesn't fall out. All right, next up, let's see what we got here. Oh, we had some stuff for the travel section. And I know I've got more coming for the travel section as well. But restocking some stuff there. I'm pulling out my next few goodies too. So what did we get in? Our states that we added this time are Georgia and Alabama. So we've got Georgia back in stock and Alabama back in stock. Those are ones I do try to keep in just because they are a little bit more, um, I'm not going to say popular, but I do think that those, you know, are kind of like spring break destinations, things like that. Next up, a little 49 and market here in the basket as well. So a restock on the real small little ones. So if I stick my fingers in here, you can kind of see the size of these. And this color is called Punch. you got 12 little flowers in there. Or sorry, 12 pieces, because I'm sure they count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, nope. Sometimes they count the leaves in there as their pieces, but nope, they did not. And they are just a little bit over four bucks for those. So just a really pretty pink peach or uh, pink punch color. Next up for the nature study line, we've got the six by eight rub-ons back in stock. And this is the mushroom rub-ons. So you've got all kinds of great little mushrooms in here. And then some of the sentiments here, slow down the pace, live free, get in touch with nature. There is no Wi-Fi in the forest, but you will find a better connection. Oh, that's cool. Um, check this out, little naturalist. When we honor the earth, we honor ourselves, seek and find the magic of mother nature. So lots of great little quotes in here as well. Perfect for any kind of camping trip, nature hike maybe you did, maybe you went out west, or um, I know right now around here, the foliage is beautiful, lots of people going for, for hikes. I've had some people stop in on their way through to going to Garden of the Gods over in Illinois, so these would be perfect for that. Um, when we got in our balloon animals yesterday, we must have had a split shipment, so we got in more of the stinking cute little balloon animals. Such fun little stickers. 
those were stuck in my 49 and market stuff. Um, Spectrum Gardenia card kit, restocking that one. So that one's a fun one, just bright and cheerful. And then the sentiments are just kind of uh, anytime type sentiments. But you can see here, can you see? Because of the glare. Yep, there we go. If I tilt it a little bit. But this is the one where whenever you have the cards, they also have a matching printed envelope. You've got two sheets of rub-ons in here. One is images, and then the other one is saying. So party time, hooray, thinking of you. Oh, joy, happy birthday, miss you, sending hugs, thanks. Hello, friend, you're the best. XO, love you, XOXO, make a wish, you did it, bravo. Oh, and happy cake day, I missed that one somehow. So super cute little card kit there. And then another, just restock on some of the plain color rub-ons that they do. This one here is called Citrus. So just some fun little texture rub-ons there. More from 49 and Market for that fall line they just released, which is called Spice. This is the um, rub-on sentiments. And I saw that my friend Sarah just posted at her store, they put rub-ons on cute little white canvas shoes. And they did them in these fall rub-ons. Oh my God, they are so stinking adorable. But if you didn't know, rub-ons can go on all kinds of things. Rub-ons are amazing. So you can put rub-ons on glass, candles, canvas, so materials. Um, now they're not gonna launder, just so you know. They, they don't wash well, they're gonna come off. And people have even tried different kinds of sealants and things like that. It just, it doesn't work great on them. But if you just want some fun little cute shoes just for the season, you totally could rock some little fall shoes with some rub-ons. But you can see some of them you're gonna get. Um, you are so awesome, then a big awesome. Thankful, favorite, fall, memories, hello, pumpkins, awesome, harvest, favorite, together, thankful, harvest, the memories, one fine day. You've got these great little moths and butterflies down here. So all kinds of great little rub-ons in this 12 by 12 sheet. Uh, let's see, what else from 49 and Market? I think these, yes, oh. Yay. Praise Jesus. Alleluia. These are all the same thing, but this is what we were waiting for, for our Spice mini album kits that we are, that we're doing. So if you love the Spice line, we do have a mini album and we're using half a pack of these in that mini album. So you can do all your fun flips and folds in there so these little created albums are so fun you've got so many possibilities and different configurations you can do them on their own even and you know just kind of do your own thing um but they work so well in her different created albums and this is the tall one so those are back in stock so if you're on the list for an album that means i can get your album out the door for you combo mono multi in the xl bottle this is the one whenever it comes out, it is the white glue. Uh, we've always stocked two different Tombos. One has the blue cap and it's clear. This one is the green cap and it has uh, the white glue that comes out. This glue, whenever it comes out, if you let it dry, it's a two-way glue, meaning it will dry real tacky. Um, it is a very strong glue, but because if it dries tacky or it's a two-way glue if it oozes out you need to make sure that you wipe it up because when it dries it's not going to dry hard it's going to dry tacky and it won't be clear either so that's not the best one for like buttons and things like that all right next up oh you've got it miss debbie thank you next up restocking one of our brushed metal papers this is the one in red now it is kind of a thinner white paper but look at that look at the glare you're getting because it's so stinking shiny this stuff is beautiful going to be perfect for christmas cards and if you've got anything left over it's going to be awesome for your valentine's day cards after that so brush metal paper in red i don't think this one was out i just try to once we get down to a few sheets of it i try to get more in because a lot of times the warehouse does sell out of it. So I don't want to be um, overstocked, but I also don't want it to be, you know, the first of December 
and some of us are just starting our Christmas cards, and then I don't have any paper for you. All right, next up, another one that's going to give you a lot of glare because it is beautiful as well. This is a little bit different. It is thicker than the red one I just showed you. This one here is textured paper, and this is the silver. Now, I know someone posted in the dish the other day that she was trying to find a, a paper, and she posted and tagged me in it, and, and she gave me like a little one-inch strip and wanted me to tell her what it was. I am not for sure, but I really feel like it would, if it wasn't this one, it's pretty darn close. So we've got this one. Um, again, it was on the shelf anyway, but we got more in so we don't run out before the holidays. This is going to be beautiful for your holiday cards, your winter cards. Oh my gosh, snowflakes cut out of this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. So we got that one back in stock or added more stock, I guess I should say. And I think, all right, that is basket number one. Oh, nope, one last little thing. Archival ink. We needed jet black archival ink reinkers. Those are in stock. I do try to always keep reinkers in for um, Memento. Stays on in jet black. Archival in black. Um, and then Versa Mark. Um, and then a lot of the Catherine Poolers are kind of hit and miss and we special order those. But I do try and keep those on there. Um, let's see here. Oh, hi, Rebecca. I, I could see another comment. I, I told everybody I'm having trouble seeing the comments because my my um, phone is going the wrong way. I probably won't do this angle again. I don't have a nice groovy little setup like some people do with a computer over here. I ain't got time for that. I can barely work my phone most days. All right, let's check out some fun new stuff. How about that? We've been looking at some reorders, so let's check out some new stuff. All right, as I told you, Crafter's Companion. Such fun stuff. All right, so I know yesterday I showed you a gingerbread house. Obviously, Hannah forgot she or had already ordered some gingerbread houses. But this one has a stamp set in it as well. So, so cute. So it's going to do this little um, gingerbread house. And then I'm just going to... So just so you know, if you like get things in an online order from me and it's been opened and, or if you shop in the store and it's been opened, it is not because it's used. It's because I open it so you can see what you're getting. Oh my God, it's Mungus. Huge. Holy cow. And look at the great stamp set in there as well too. So such a cute gingerbread. Look at the little gingerbread men there even. You've got all the fun little candy pieces here. So, so fun on that one. So gingerbread house. And then you've got these adorable little stamps. Baking spirits bright, baked with love. You're the icing to my gingerbread. From our home to yours, gingerbread kisses and Christmas wishes. Gingerbread hugs, have a sweet Christmas and happy holidays. What a fun stamp set that comes with that one. And what a great size set too. So I got that in there. Let's see here. I can get it back in. Maybe. There we go. Like nobody even nobody will even know. Next up, it's called Comfort and Joy. I thought this one was beautiful. It is really hard sometimes to find religious and faith-based stuff. This one has um Virgin Mary and Child. Ah. Well, I don't want to tear up your packaging, but I'm going to because I want to see how big it really is. I can show you measurements, but if you're like me, it's, it's. I mean, I'm pretty good with my measurements, but I, I do much better seeing it in the real life. Oh, good card size. Let me grab a card here real quick. I just did a little live before I did this live um, showing you some Halloween cards that I've got a kit for. So um, it's gonna have six cards in it. Um, someone sent out one of the cards already, not, not really thinking, sometimes she does that. But oh, that's gonna be perfect right there. So really good card size die there. I'm gonna flip it over so you can see it again. 
So it's gonna give you this beautiful outline and then you can inlay in there if you choose to. But it would be, it be beautiful cut as a silhouette. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. Love that. So again, that one's called Comfort and Joy. That one is brand new. After Comfort and Joy. Oh, there's another gingerbread house. What have we got here? Okay, we've got Haunted House. That other one opened up pretty good. Oh, yeah, this one's, these open up really easy. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, friends, you know I talk about multi-purpose and, you know, getting more life out of stuff. Look at those great little texture stamps. These are going to be so fun on so many other things. On here, though, you are going to use those to stamp. If I get it going the right way. Stamp. After you die cut your pieces up, just regular cardstock out, then you can give them the stamped look of bricks. And then your roof pieces, you can give them the stamped look of all those shingles. How fun is that? But if you have mermaid die cuts, these are mermaid scales. Oh, how fun is this? Our um, sayings on here, spooky season, ghostly greetings, boo, happy haunting, trick or treat, and spooktacular. And then you've got this really fun little haunted house here. So again, that's the haunted house stamp and die. And last one we've got um, from them is called pumpkin spice. Okay, pumpkin spice is up next. Pumpkin spice, you've got a, well, obviously you've got a great little pumpkin in there. And again, this is one that comes with the stamp as well. Okay, so what we've got, oh, love that look. You also get your shadowing pieces. So you can stamp those in there to give your pumpkins the curve. I like that a lot. That is a great little um, thought detail for your, for your stamps that go with this. Awesome. All right, so Burbage, Autumn Leaves, and Pumpkins, please. Wishing you a harvest of happiness, pumpkin spice, and everything nice. Hey there, pumpkin. Give thanks and blessed. And then look at the great sizes on these. So you've got this nice size pumpkin. You've got, oh, and this one, friends, I think this is one that you could even turn into a card. Um, that would be the shape of the pumpkin. That would be a fun Fun one for this one. You've got the nice little stem in here. You've got some flowers. You've got the little vines in here, some leaves. So great little add-ons in there for pumpkin spice. Oh, someone is calling. They are just going to have to hopefully leave a message. Okay, moving on. Some restocks here for our doodle bug designs. This is sweet and spooky. So this was from the Halloween line, the enamel dots that match that. Those had already sold through. So we just restocked those. Now, I did promise you guys a teaser. <gasps> Look what is coming and starting to hit the store. I'm going to show it all, at least everything we've gotten in so far tomorrow, because I've got another order coming tomorrow that has more of gingerbread kisses in it. We got just a little bit today, so we left just one in here to give you a little teaser. So we did, we have started to pull special orders as well. So if um, from what has come in, if you special requested stuff, we're already starting to pull that, but we did get the super fun little shadow box inserts. Oh my gosh, this one is too adorable. Um, these are super easy as well, friends. So I, I explain this all the time, but let me just do it very quickly. You get a piece of vellum, all right? And in your kit, everything is in your kit. And you're actually going to build the items on the vellum. Okay, so you're going to stick them to. And then they're going to go onto a white piece of paper. You may have to add your own piece of white. I think, I think maybe, no, it does say eight by eight white cardstock. So, okay. So they, they put that in there now. And then you put this under your vellum and you use it as a guide. So you know exactly where 
this little sticker is going to go. And when they have a little X on it, that means you're going to use a pop dot on that one. So I would do a pop dot on her, put her down. Then I'm going to take my enamel dot, put it right there. I'm going to take my little heart, put it right there. And again, I'm doing this on the vellum. When I'm done, I just move out the little guide from underneath my vellum and poop, it's gone. And so then you've got this beautiful piece of vellum with all this fun decoratedness. And then you put it in a shadow box or whatever frame or however you want to display it. But they are so stinking, stinking cute. So again, these just came in. We got a little bit of gingerbread kisses in today. And then I checked and we've got more coming in an order tomorrow. So I will show you all that tomorrow. But no, um, if you're not down for this, this is your sneaky peek and you may want to snag one of these because these shadow box inserts, depending on the theme, have been super popular and Christmas is a fun one. Some of them are very specific. Like there's a really cute little farm animals one and, and you know, but it, again, it's a little specific, but Christmas, oh, Christmas is, Christmas is just, you know, Christmas is for everybody or almost everybody, but so, so cute. So gingerbread Chris is there. What's next in my basket? Restock. Um, you know, I don't actually know if we got these in before. Maybe. Uh, the 8x8 packs for the Make a Splash line from Graphic 45. So we got the 8x8 pads in. Fall Fun. This is a restock here of the line from Cartabella. I think we just got one of these in yesterday's order too. We had somebody um, special order a bunch of them. So these might be her order, but I'll flip through these real quick. Beautiful papers. All right, so we'll cut apart sheet. The mushrooms on the back. I don't know if Chastity is watching or not, but Chastity is my uh, my mushroom girl. She she loves her fun guys. When I was teaching science, I had all kinds of corny corny fun guy jokes and stuff, and it would make all the kids just roll their eyeballs, and I loved it, loved it, loved it. All right, next up. Oh, these are just some great basic sets. This one here from Crafter's Companion, just a good basic square uh, die set. I was out of squares on the shelf, so this one's got 11 of them, and your largest is four and a half by four and a half. Ovals here, largest is six by four. So just an oval set. <coughs> Excuse me. More black card stock here. Oh my gosh. Friends, I totally forgot about this one. And I can't remember if it is Debbie or Diane or maybe both of you that are old truck crazy. But here you go, ladies and gentlemen and crafters. I'm not leaving anybody out. Truck enthusiasts, what have you. This one is called Harvest Blessings. And we've got, um, again, stamp and die in here. So let's check out our stamp. Grateful for you. Wishing you warm harvest blessings with thanks for all you do. May the beauty of the season fill your heart and home. Each day brings a new reason to be grateful. This one just says thankful. Um, and then wishing you many beautiful blessings this season. And now you're going to see how they've kind of got that on the bottom of the pickup truck there as well. You've also got a little wood grain stamp in here. So again, think how fun this is going to be to use on other things to create a wood grain effect. And then let's check it out. Oh, oh friends, that is good size. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's a little bigger than your A2 card. So if you're an A2 card girl, you're going to need to, oh, perfect on a slim line. Oh my gosh, look at him on the slim line. Absolute perfection. So you're just going to have to try a different size of a card. This would probably also work on an A6 size card if you do those, which, oh, did not mean to hit you guys. 
I'm totally that girl. Like if I accidentally bump into the dog or the cat, I apologize to them. Um, and I saw something one, one day that that was kind of weird. And I'm like, I don't think that's weird, but yes, if I step on Phoebe's foot, I totally apologize to her and tell her that I'm so, so sorry. So I'm sorry that I just hit you guys, but look how great this guy is. So you've got your truck here. Here is the wood panels for the bed. You've got pumpkins to put in there. This is your little fender for the wheels, other parts of the wheels here. And um, you've got your little um, steering wheel there. Such fun, what a fun one. So that is Harvest Blessings. That's gonna be a good one, I like that one. And again, I think that one would be another one that that is just your card. You know, turn it, you know, cut two, do your little hinge in there, or you can cut it um, two pieces at the same time and not quite all the way through, and then have it do its own little hinge. There's all kinds of fun things where you run it just right underneath, all kinds of ways that you can make this be the card all on its own. So that is gonna be a fun set, I think. All right, next up, we got a little more Doodlebug in here to check out. Lots of Doodlebug restocks in this one. So this one here, we got in the other day, um, I think for, for an order, somebody special, re yeah, that's it. Somebody special requested it and um, we got it in and it actually sold online right away, which was crazy and awesome. So we had to get it back in for the special request. And then I showed it to you guys on Facebook Live and someone else special requested it. So how fun is that? This is not this year's summer line from Doodlebug. This is last year's. I didn't do a, a summer release this year, but this one is called Seaside Summer. For Seaside Summer on the shelf, we actually have some stickers left and some of the Doodle Pops as well, too. So we do have some stuff to go with it, but just such a fun, vibrant, bright line. And then here are your stickers on the back. Super cute. So, so fun. So again, that one is Seaside Summer. Other stuff here. This was for, this was kind of their summer line they did this year, it was called Hello Again. So we were out of the odds and ends, oops, getting camera. We were out of the odds and ends for Hello Again. Hello Again is the one that has that great gold foiling in it as well too. So that's a restock. This one here is a special order. Um, it's, I think it's so cool what sometimes our craft supplies get used for. We have a gal that works in some of the, in one of the area factories and around here in Dubois County, it's like wood capital, uh, used to be like of the, of the nation, I think. Um, and so we've got a lot of great wood factories. And so if something gets nicked or damaged or you know anything like that, and it goes on their second line or just doesn't get stained right, she goes in and she hand details um, the colors back in and she loves to use the Tombow pins for that to match the stains and, and be able to do that. So I think that's super cool. So that's what this one is going for. How fun is that? Oh, another one. This one, it was stuck in there. She was hiding. This one is called Wicked Witch. Again, it's going to be another one of those die and stamp sets. And she's wickedly sticky too. Everybody else came open much easier. All right, let's check her out. Cheers, witches. Wicked, we got some great little spider webs here. Have a fabulous birthday. Happy Halloween, trick or treat, you're so sweet. You say witch like it's a bad thing. Hi there, I'll be up in just a minute. We've got this fun, super cute little hat in there as well. Oh, look how they did the little polka dots on there and it does come with polka dots so you can do that as well i would just cut it out of hi there of some fun fun paper that would be super cute there so that one is wicked witch next up so sorry i do a daily live are you okay okay i'm i'm still i'm still chatting i'm still chatting with my crafty friends here so no worries and I'm almost out of my basket too, so. All right, 
This one here, one of you had this on order, just took a while for it to come back in stock from Penny Black. Um, another great little truck die here, smaller than the one we saw before. So obviously this one is going to fit on your A2 cards, easy peasy. Let's check it out on a slim line. Oh yeah, he would be fine on a slim line and you could even do maybe even a little wagon. You've got plenty of room. You could put something behind it as well too. Uh, they won't they won't go sideways on the slim line though. It's like, well, you could maybe stack them up depending what you're doing. But this one here is called Vintage Truck. There you can see a little sample of it there. But I know one of these is special order and then the other one is up for grabs. And if we need more than that, we'll put them right back on the next order because obviously they are back in stock at the warehouse. All right, next couple little things here. Oh, I forgot this one here. This one, Pink Fresh. This is some of their brand new snowflakes that they just released. We already ran out of those. Again, how gorgeous would those be cut out of that silver paper? that I showed you in the beginning. So, so pretty. So you've got three different size snowflakes in this set. This next one here, this is a special order, but I can get more. That's why I always show you the special orders. So this is from Prima. It's one of their new releases. It's called Farm Sweet Farm. And it's kind of like, you know, I wish companies, and of course they can't talk to each other. They don't, they're not going to do that. But I wish they would talk a little bit because we just got in that fun little farm line from PhotoPlay. I didn't even know this one was out. A lot of times, um, Prima's not the best at sending out emails, but maybe because I haven't ordered direct from them in a while. But let's check out what's in this paper pad. So again, this is Farm Sweet Farm. Oh, look at that wood grain on the back. Do you see that? It's got some good like splotching texture to where you could almost probably use that even for winter stuff. Looks like you're gonna get four of each sheet in here. Great cut apart page. Look at that beautiful horse there. On the back of this one, we've got a good um, kind of tablecloth plaid there. It's got um, some other images, almost like a map image in the back there. Little chipmunks. Usually those are pesty. This, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on a limb and say this was designed by a city person, not a country person that has to deal with chipmunks that dig up your flower beds and do bad things and get in your stuff and, you know, and then they get into your wires and they eat your wires. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Great little chicken wire page here. Um, almost looks like lace on the back. Just some florals here. There's the back. Another floral sheet, um, just like old like ledgers on the back there. Some, and then that is that's the last page in there. So how many was that? That was 24 sheets. Okay, so six six different prints, four of each. So that is Farm Sweet Farm. And then. We got back in stock our Deborah Buddy Bags. Those are the ones that are great for storing your markers. So the Deborah Buddy Bags are back in stock. And then the last thing in my little basket is another Doodlebug canvas. And I'm going to pop my phone out. There we go. You guys are still okay. Because I'm going to show you this one, and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's together. We also have those in the daisies. Um, polka dots are back ordered until November 1st, but it's a great little canvas tote that those guys do. So, all right, let me, okay, I'm going to flip the camera back around, tell you guys thanks so much for popping in and hanging out with me for a little bit. Um, I'm going to check on the gal that came in that way. If she needs help find anything, I can help her do that and then answer the phone. So if you keep calling, well, obviously you're not on here. If you keep calling because you know I'm on the live, but also to take care of whoever keeps calling as well. So thank you guys so, so much. Again, tomorrow we're going to have that gingerbread kisses from Doodlebug. I can't wait. I, I didn't even peek. I, um, saw it on the invoice when I checked it in. So Leslie has seen it in person. I have not other than that shadow box that I showed you guys as well. So I cannot wait to see it. Can't wait till the rest of it comes in tomorrow. So that's going to be super, super fun as well. So until next time, everybody, again, I'm Hannah the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. You can always shop us online at www.thedoodlebuginc.com. All right. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.